Hey guys, it's Jenny Eads and welcome back to my channel. I am here with a live sale preview and this one is for the sale that I have on Friday. It's the Twin Sisters sale. It will be at 1.30 p.m. Central. It is going to be on my channel and it is with my favorite person in all the world, my twin sister, Christine. <laughs> we always have so much fun together and the way that we interact whenever we are live is the exact same way we do whenever we're in person. We're always cracking jokes at each other and, and it's, I mean, we just get each other, right? So it's always fun. It's always fun whenever we're hanging out and you get to see us <laughs> do that every Friday. Now, so thank goodness. I'm so glad my sister is back. So let's get into it. Let me show you some of the items that I'm going to be bringing to this sale. Um, again, this is just going to be a sneak peek. It's not all of the items um, that I will be bringing. Um, of course, Christine will have amazing items. We bring 20 items each. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. Let's get into it. So the first item that I will show you is this super cute Raggedy Ann doll right here. And she is a larger one. I believe 18 inches is, let me, I'll measure. Hang on. I think it was 18 inches, but y'all know me in numbers. 16, see I lied. 16, <laughs> 16 inches, but she has the red dress. Uh, she has the little apron. This is, whenever I think of Raggedy Ann, this is how I think of her with the red dress. I know I've had several that have blue dresses, but this is how I think of her with her dress, her apron, her little bloomers. <laughs> so cute. So I am bringing her. I am also going to bring a couple of, um, hats, some vintage hats. So the first one I have is signed. It is a Jane Morgan, Jane Morgan, New York. And it is this really pretty like off white, but look at this detail right here. Isn't that gorgeous with the little faux pearls on here? It's just so pretty. Like people really did that. They really dressed up and everything. Oh, it's so pretty. Maybe you're supposed to wear like that. Maybe you're supposed to wear like this. I don't know. I don't know, but it is so pretty. It almost feels like wool um, also. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say anything else on the tag right here. Oh, wait, maybe it did. Maybe it did what I just see. Oh, that's selected by. <laughs> so beautiful bringing that. The next hat that I will show you is a vintage Girl Scout hat. So fun to find. It is wool. It is made in France. And here it is. Little Girl Scout of America hat. <laughs> Little beret, if you will. So uh, cute. And it has the Girl Scout um, tag on the inside. So I thought it was awesome. Um, never found one like that before. So I'm bringing that. The next item that I will show you is a flower frog. I have another large glass flower frog right here. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 holes, no chips, no cracks, bringing that. The next item I will show you, it is new old stock. Um, it is from the 50s and they are these little forks. Again, they are in the box, so I will open them up just like this. And look, never been used, never been used. Isn't that awesome? So these would be great for display or use them. <laughs> use them, use the cool stuff, use them. Love the graphics on the box as well. So am bringing that. I am also going to have some advertising tens. Um, this one, um, in particular, I have five of these, uh, right, right? One, two, yes, I have five of these. So I will have multiples, um, if someone is interested, but it is velvet pipe and cigarette tobacco, um, right here. Um, I believe these were from the seventies, from the seventies. So I do have these for all you guys to make your super cool assemblages with or display them. But again, I have five available, um, so I will be um, offering those up um, as choice. So flat price, boom, choice, whichever ones you want. 
So if you um, missed the anthropomorphic um, salt and pepper sale I did, I sold all but one set. And this is the set. So I'm going to bring them back. They are cute little monkeys. Little monkey shakers. Love, love, love the colors on them. And I love the glaze on them. They are really cool. Really cool. So I am bringing those. Let me set them over here. Another anthropomorphic item that I will be bringing are a set of four metal coasters. And these are, whoop, I'm upside down, number one. These are old fashions. Um, they all four are alike. So it has the drink. He's riding a little bicycle, got his derby hat, his little puppy in tow. The mustache is giving me life right here. So um, again, I do have four of them and they all match. They, they all match. Thought they would be so cool either on maybe a gallery wall or if you are doing um, a bar that these would, these would be so cool. It, it, they would just be so cool. Um, love, they're very kitschy, right? They're very kitsch. So am bringing those. Um, another kitsch item or really MCM item. Um, I'm gonna bring this um, lighter. It is a really pretty, um, kind of like a creamy white with gold specks going through it. So I liked the shape of it. And I know we have a lot of people that collect um, uh, um, tobacco related items. So my mind went blank for a second. Are y'all surprised? No. <laughs> so I am bringing that. I am also going to be bringing a couple of kitty items. Um, I have this really pretty cat planter. His eyes look a little scary, but they're so pretty. Like you can't, it's like a train wreck. You can't stop looking at them, but look at that blue. I loved the eyes. I really did. That's what actually drew me into him. I love the pink bow and I liked the coloring on him. So I will be bringing this to that sale. The other kitty item that I have is a vintage from the 50s. It is a toothbrush holder right here. Love, love, love that blue like airbrush right here. And this is the hole. This is where you put your toothbrush right there, but you could use it for other things. You know, I love to repurpose, repurpose items. So am bringing that. I think I'll show you two more items, two more items. Um, in first one's in front of me. I have this beautiful rainbow glass little dish. So it does have a, um, it does have a handle right here. Um, and it does come down. The glass comes down a little bit right there, but I loved the look of it. I loved the color of it. So, um, still having the tag on it. That is a major plus. Um, so I am bringing that. And the last item, the last item that I will show you, I have some um, Whitman books that I will be um, offering up. It's going to be a lot of them, and I have five of them. Um, I have five, so I will show you the books. So this one is a Bugs Bunny Big Invention. This one was done in 1953. 1953 right here and the graphics in these are just so bright and vivid so bringing that one then i have lassie right here lassie is 1964 right here i have tom and jerry Right here, MGM's Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry is from 1953. Now these do have a little bit of issue on the back, or on the side, excuse me. The, what's the name, what's the word for that? Binder, bind, bind, I don't know, something. They're old, y'all. <laughs> me too, <laughs> me too. All right, the next one is The Hungry Lion. It is from 1960. Again, great graphics. These, um, I love the Whitman books because they are, they are beautifully illustrated. Um, and so I really like those. 
The last one is Billy Goat. Billy Goat Gruff. So you can see a little piece has come off right there. But if you want to use these for junk journaling or something like that, you could easily do that because the pages are perfect. Uh, this is 1954. So that is it. I'm putting these all in a lot together. And uh, hopefully you like them. Hopefully you like them. Even if you just want to put them on your bookshelf or have put them in a display, that would be perfect. But that is it, guys. That is all that I'm going to show you for this live sale sneak peek. For the sale, I have on Friday the Twin Sister sale with my twin sister, Christine. Um, again, we always have so much fun. It will be at 1.30 p.m. Central on my channel. And I really, really, really hope to see you there. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.